shoot, wait, I want to change the... There we go. How about now? So we're just getting ready to start our concert here. We're going to have three sets going um, tonight on the first day of four days, Creative Strings Workshop and Festival in Europe. And you got it. It's up. Okay, good. So we're live. Great. So just hang tight for a few minutes. And the first concert is going to be by this group called Les Mini Strings. They're an incredible ensemble, incredible youth orchestra, um, directed by Beiju Bot um, and Tina Trinning. Beiju is a wonderful violinist, and he has partnered with me and with Creative Strings, our organization, to put on this event um, in Lausanne for the last several years. Of course, we were interrupted by COVID, but. Um, we're really delighted that we've had almost 50 participants, uh, adult string players come from around Europe this, this year to study with us. There he is, there's Beijing. I don't know if he's gonna say hi. Do you wanna say hi to, to you two? To the world? I was just talking about you, yeah, Hello to the world. world. It's, it looks kind of weird to see Hello the world in this. Hello people of the uh, internet. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this is gonna be a really special treat. Uh, you're gonna see the lay mini strings and then after that two more ensembles for incredible uh, three incredible sets of music with any luck i'm going to be able to keep this live stream going for the next four hours uh, so feel free to share the link out please share your friends tell them to check it out and um and uh, if you are interested in attending um you know in person or online workshops like these Go to uh, creativestrings.org or christianhounds.com to learn more about programs coming soon near you. So we'll be starting the program here with Lay Mini Strings in just a couple minutes. Stay tuned. Thank you. 
So obviously they run a little bit fashionably late in Europe, but that's okay. We're going to have this going here uh, momentarily, so thanks for, uh, thanks for your patience. It's going to be worth it, I promise.
just told me it's going about to start so packed room here. This is great. Bienvenue au théâtre 221. Je n'ai pas du tout préparé euh, de speech, mais je vais vous souhaiter à toutes et à tous euh, la bienvenue dans ce lieu magique euh, qui, euh, que je connais depuis très très longtemps. Et, et, et pour ceux qui sont, sont là pour la première fois, bah, réjouissez-vous parce que c'est une découverte magnifique. Euh, on est très très content que, que vous soyez là pour la première soirée de ce festival un festival très spécial euh, pour plusieurs raisons. Euh, quand on joue du violon, par exemple, et qu'on fait de la musique improvisée, euh, et qu'on veut travailler, euh, et qu'on postule pour jouer dans des festivals classiques, souvent on nous dit « Ah oui, mais c'est quand même un peu trop jazz ». Et puis quand on postule pour jouer dans des festivals de jazz, on dit « Oui, mais c'est quand même un peu classique, votre histoire ». Et... Euh, du coup, on a décidé de faire notre festival, et, euh, et euh, où on fait que ça, pour le coup. Donc on est, on est, on est, on est très content que ça puisse avoir lieu. C'est un festival de musiciens aussi. Euh, ça a certaines implications, je pense, qu'on peut, qu peut voir. Il n'y a, a pas vraiment de tête d'affiche. Il y a des pointures internationales qui vont ce week-end, mais qui sont au même niveau que bah, les enfants qui vont jouer ce soir, etc., etc., parce que... On est, on est tous là pour, pour les mêmes raisons. C'est de faire de la musique et puis euh, euh, privilégier la rencontre et la, et la création. Il y, a plein de, il y a plein de projets qui sont nés en fait cette semaine en prévision de ce festival. Euh, parce que c'est ça qui nous, 
qui nous plaît en tant que musicien, qui nous, qui nous maintient en, en, en vie, euh, qui nous donne envie. Et puis, euh, il y aura plein de rencontres aussi spontanées. Ce soir, il y aura des jam sessions à partir de demain, euh, etc., etc. Donc, euh, je, je ne contrôle évidemment rien euh, de ce qui va se passer, mais ça va être, ça va être super. Euh, aussi, le plaisir de la transmission et du partage. Euh, ce festival se fait en parallèle au Creative Strings Workshop. Euh, trois jours de formation intensive pour les musiciens et musiciennes à cordes qui veulent euh, incorporer l'improvisation dans leur travail. Creative Strings Workshop, un concept qui a été créé il y a 20 ans par euh, un grand monsieur que, qui, qui vient des états unis qui s'appelle Christian House et qui est là ce soir. Christian House. Voilà, euh, je salue tous les participants au workshop qui sont là ce soir. Je vous souhaite une excellente soirée à toutes et à tous. Euh, J'aimerais du fond du cœur remercier euh, toute l'équipe de 21. Alors bon, il, euh, euh, Julien, Sophie, euh, Michel, Eric, et puis euh, Stéphanie, et puis Mary, et puis Léa, et puis Sarah, et puis il y en a plein d'autres. <rire> On peut les applaudir bien fort. Je, je vais parler juste maintenant, et puis après c'est terminé, place à la musique. Je vous souhaite une excellente soirée, je vous remercie d'être là, et à, à bientôt. Place au ministre
ouais, 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 ouais. <rire> euh, merci beaucoup. Euh, bravo les ministries. Euh, la soirée va continuer à 20h30 avec un concert de falsetas, un superbe duo devenu trio de flamenco que vous allez entendre tout à l'heure. Yeah. 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 ici et puis euh, à 22 h euh, dans l'autre salle dans la salle 1 euh, encore une rencontre inédite cette fois entre euh, nuance la compagnie nuance et le projet inu donc de fanny balestro et de félix bergeron ça va être une aventure que je me réjouis de voir en attendant est ce que est ce que marc croft et yardani torres mayani de falsetas sont là ah bah <rire> Par hasard, ils sont là Alors, euh, on, on vise, on vise, euh, oui. Voilà, on, en, fait, en fait, Marc et, et Yardani sont venus nous faire travailler un peu de flamenco, les palmas ces derniers temps, etc. Et donc, en guise de vis, pour, euh, pour la première fois pour vous, ce soir, on a le grand plaisir de vous présenter les ministries avec mon invité Yardani et Marc. C'est bien entendu une composition de Yardani qui l'a faite pour les ministries. Alors c'est vraiment ça. Avec Antonio à la danse au Palma, s'il vous plaît.
Ça transpire là-dedans. <rire> T'arrives maintenant Bah oui, parce qu'on est à 8h. Eh ben, euh, ouais, c'est pas grave. Ça va être bien aussi. Ça va, Christelle, la forme Ça va. Ouais. Allez, pour ces aventures. Ouais, ah, suis-moi. Bonjour, prends C'est Marc Ouais, c'est Marc et Ardani. Tu les connais Ouais. 
Okay, so I've just been informed that the next set is going to start here in about 15 minutes. But I want to keep the live stream rolling. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to go around. We're going to talk to some of the people that are here and hear what they have to say about their experience so far um, at Creative Strings. And, uh, and then if you have other things you want to share in the chat, you can with me. Uh, or if you just want to take a little break and then leave it. You okay? If you want to take a little break, he's okay. If you want to take a break, get some coffee, leave this rolling, and uh, come back because this next set is really special. Maybe I can get Mark Crofts to talk to us. Hey, Mark. Mark, can I get you to talk about your set for 30 seconds? Yep. That's your quick question. So, th so this is Mark Crofts. Hey guys. And uh, can you tell us like briefly about like what, or well actually as long as you want to take, but I just know you're busy. So what do you want to tell us about this, the set that's going to come uh, We're going to play a flamenco violin set, a sort of flamenco violin duet. And uh, normally flamenco doesn't really have any violin. So we decided to create uh, new, new pieces based on the tradition to, to showcase what a violin can do in that uh, yeah. language. And we have a dancer with us, which is amazing. Yeah. It's the first time we're doing it with a dancer, which is really important to flamenco, obviously. Right. And, uh, and yeah, it's just been a, quite a ride yeah. to do it with him. So we're really looking forward to it. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much, man. And that Thanks, was Chris. killing, man, what you did with the kids. That was the amazing. The kids are killing, actually. The kids are the one killing it. And now I'm nervous, really. <laughs> so that's Mark Crofts. He's going to be, that's M-A-R-C. Croft is C-R-O-F-T-S. So you can look him up if you want. He lives here in Lausanne. I've met him for a couple of the festivals that we've done here in the past. And uh, he's great, obviously. And um, yeah, so him and Jardani is the other violinist that has been developing this original flamenco-inspired program. They've been developing it, writing it together on the violins for, for like a year and a half. And they're joined by a percussionist, a cajon player who also dances. So the cajon player who then the dancer, he creates all this uh, percussive effects with the cajon, but also dancing. So it's really special. I think they also have, um, they may have one of the kids join on like a piece or two. So super hip. Anyway, I'm gonna take a big chance right now and I'm gonna take this uh, phone off the stand. We're gonna take a little bit of a walk and just see if we can talk to some people. Because because uh, we have uh, like 50, almost 50 uh, adult string players who have been coming here to join us for, uh, for the next uh, four or five days doing workshops, classes during the day. And then the concerts happen at night. Uh, so we will be, I am gonna try to live stream every night, uh, which in the US, the nighttime in Switzerland in the US is like, I don't know, two o'clock Eastern time until like four o'clock or no, five o'clock every day. You guys came for the festival, right? Or for the workshop, I meant. No. I, I guess they don't speak English. So let me find somebody that speaks English. We're gonna walk around and see this joint. Look at this. I wanna show, this is what I thought was cool. Look at these little radishes. This is a radish with a flower and you're actually supposed to eat it. I'm gonna eat it. We're gonna find some people to talk to. You're Rico, right? Yeah, yeah. So Hello. can I ask you a couple questions? Of course. I take my you're, mask, maybe. Yeah, what, as you like. So you're, li you're, you're live on YouTube, by the way. I'm killing time between the two concerts because I'm trying okay. to stream the whole thing. 
And so you came today from Germany. I came from Ger I'm from Brazil, but I live in Germany. Right, from Brazil, yeah. you live in Germany. Yeah. What's your impression so far? Like, what what happened today, and what? Why did you come? And who are you? What's going on? Well, until, until now, all the all my impression is already what I was expecting, because I already know you from internet, from YouTube, from Instagram, and I, we just had this afternoon some work with you, and it was great. I, I got everything I was expecting actually and more and this first part of this concert was just amazing like uh, these kids are really great like uh, Baju has a really amazing project here in Lausanne yeah. Yeah, yeah. beautiful thank I you so my much and, and how do you how do you uh, stay busy in uh, in Germany and where in Germany do you live I live in Berlin Berlin okay I work in Berlin with theaters with dance theater so wow. I work with theater and dancers. Oh, like, and I um, should mention you play the cello, right? I play cello, yes. yes. I forgot to mention that. And I work uh, at composing and improvising music for dance pieces in theater. In Berlin. And I also teach. And you teach. And I also now I'm pretty into jazz and study jazz for the last two years. Having some lessons with Stefan, Stefan Brown. Yeah. And also coming to meet you and, and Baju. How do, how do you like working individually with Stefan Brown? Well, Stefan is just great. It's just difficult to catch him sometimes because he's always traveling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, but uh, he's amazing. He's an amazing guy. He's an amazing channel. Stefan is going to be playing. We're going to play a set, me and Stefan and Beiju, on Saturday night at 8 o'clock Swiss time, which is 2 p.m. Eastern. So that's going to be Saturday. But uh, if you haven't checked out Stefan Brown, it's uh, S-T-E-P-H-A-N and then B-R-A-U-N. You just look him up on YouTube. He's an amazing, I, I like to use the German word, Wunderkind, uh, cellist, right? I mean, he, isn't he kind of like a Wunderkind? I mean, yeah, he's like a, this uh, one-man band, uh, but yeah. in the cello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can yeah, be yeah. whatever he wants in the, in the cello. Yeah. But, uh, for sure he's a Wunderkind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing. Thanks, man. Thanks for sharing. Thank Looking you, thank forward you. to getting to know you in the next few days. I'm going to move around here. You guys were awesome. Yes. We didn't play. You didn't play? No. <laughs> I thought you played. You didn't. What is it? All the Swiss people look alike, man. I can't tell the difference. No, I'm just kidding. That's a bad joke. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that, was me that was because I'm American and I'm just making fun of the fact that I'm American. So you guys didn't play? No, no, we didn't. Did you have like a uh, uh, relative? But you're, aren't you Emmy? Yeah. You're going to play though, right? Yeah. Ah, okay. Are you going to play? Uh, not tonight, but maybe tomorrow, I guess. Okay, yeah. awesome. So, but have you been a part of the mini strings before? Yeah, uh huh. I was a veteran. veteran. I don't know how you say You're a veteran? It. Yeah, uh huh. Okay, great. And you're, and Emmy, you're going to play with this next set, right? Yes. What's it? And you're 16, right? Yes. What has it been like for you to work on this flamenco set that you're going to guest on? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's a good answer. That's a good answer. I'll accept that. I will totally accept that. Thank you. And Arne, right? Yes. So where did you come from? I am coming from Germany in a little village near Cologne. Right, right. And you got here today, and we, we uh, you got here yesterday, actually. What's your impression so far of the classes? You're a violinist, you're also a coder, IT. Yes, of course, that's a total different experience compared to classic uh, violin education, but I it was really packed with lots of new and interesting information. So I do benefit a lot from just having a different uh, viewpoint on all of this. So that's uh, totally amazing to me. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. you have a, uh yeah. Hi. David. <laughs> Hello. Oh Anna. <laughs> you guys are live on YouTube. Can I just can Ooh. I just like bomb you like that? Or just yeah. Like, You're live where? Hello. How, How many people watching? Uh, well, so right now, oh, it was 37, and then somebody just fell off. So that was, oh, well, somebody else fell off. Now it's 34. <laughs> Why is everybody leaving? What did I say? Okay. Um, so for, if you're just tuning on, we're going to have another, our second set coming up here in a few minutes with Mark Crofts and it's uh, a couple other amazing musicians. But what is your guys' impression? Who are you and why are you here and what's your impression so far? Please. David, no, please. please. Anna, come on. 
Hi, I'm Anna Keller. I'm from Berlin. I'm attending the um, Creative Strings workshop the second time live. And it um, started as brilliant as I expected. <laughs> you too far. Uh, so, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, You're in Berlin? No, Cologne. No, I'm in Berlin. Berlin? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And what do you do? How do you stay busy most of the time in Berlin? Um, I'm busy with too many things. I'm a visual artist. <laughs> right. I'm doing uh, you make ceramics. Books and I'm stuff. doing calendars. I'm doing yeah, calendars. drawings. Yes. Actually, you have my calendar, Chris. Yes, it's beautiful. <laughs> the animals and music yes. <laughs> calendar of 19. I'm doing a new one in 23. That's right. You do it every year, right? I didn't do one last year, but uh, next year. Okay. Okay. So some advertising for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you to, and but you're also a creative musician. Yeah. Also, I'm. Uh, um, yeah. You do like performance pieces of, where you mix words and and improvisation and composition, right? Yeah, I try to. Uh, yeah, I'm just kind of mixing everything together, person, and yeah. try to write songs and integrating free impro and cards and singing and yeah. I remember. I remember now. It's all coming back to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because we had these couple of years, and then so today Anna came and I recognized her, but I couldn't remember her name. <laughs> and, and I was so embarrassed. I was really embarrassed. Because I called on, because I was like, can we get two volunteers? And it was like two people, and she was one of the persons that raised her hand. And so I was like, I can't, there's no way I can, I, you know, I was like, I forgot your name. But the thing is, like, I know you really well. <laughs> like, I know you really, like, I remembered all these other things. It just took me, like, sometimes that just happens. Anyway. David from Hi, Mexico City. I'm, yeah, I'm David from Mexico City. I'm a cellist. I used to be a guitar player. And now I'm studying here in Lausanne a master's degree in cello, in classical, uh, in the Haute Ecole de Musique. Uh, but I've been always very interested in, in all these other forms of playing and understanding the instrument and understanding the practice and the, the stage and communication with other musicians. And I'm so happy. It's like, I mean, I've been in this city for, for five months already. It's not that much, and it was like, like the festival came to me, so it was like <laughs> amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> so I'm very happy with him. So do you have an impression here. yet? I mean, you got a beer in your hand. Like, I have a beer in my hand. Do you have an impression so far? You're standing next to Anna. I yeah. mean, you know, I mean that's not too bad, right there, man. I mean, yeah. You look like you're pretty comfortable. I think, yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're having a good. What is, getting... Chris? What is your majority audience? They are in the states, or they are from everywhere now? I don't watching? know, like. They, they put it in the chat. Where are you guys from? Why don't you put it in the chat? Where are you from? I know we had somebody from Martinique, nice. Nona, and uh, um, there's folks in the U.S. for sure. Somebody from Italy, uh, California, but you guys got to put it. Just put, you know, where you're, where you're at. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, that's it. And I do a lot of music for dance and theater. And well, back in Mexico, and uh, yeah, now I'm trying to write my own songs and try to combine the cello playing with singing and yeah. <laughs> okay, so we have somebody. Uh, Elizabeth is from Orlando, Florida. She just chatted on there. And, Hi, and Elizabeth. So, did you have an impression from our our like intro class today? And then somebody from Charlotte. Yeah, it was like really amazing to to have this all this resources to, to to share with other musicians i think there are a bunch of good ideas that we can reproduce in other in other spaces and that's i think that's very that's very valuable yeah great great yeah. and then somebody chimed in there from brazil and somebody else from Brasil, erie pennsylvania <laughs> and everything so these guys are here too. How, what do you think? Where, who, who are you? Why are you here? What's going on? How's it going? What, what is it? I am Markus. I'm playing cello, and I come from Boring, Hanover, Germany. No? Amazing. <laughs> Amazing, yes. Yes. And the best thing in Hanover is that uh, Stefan Braun is teaching there. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I was lucky to uh, to have some lessons there with him, yeah. and um, so I'm I'm. Um, I'm looking forward to meet him again. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. He's the star. You see that this is a theme, Steph Stefan, I can't say Stefan Braun. But I just call him Stefan Braun. But I you know, it's like I you know, his name is actually David, and I said David, you know, it's the same thing. It's like Anna Anna And it was like I was like, isn't it Anna Cole? You know. But anyway, that's you know. Um, but this is a theme, Stefan, Stefan Braun is, uh, you know, he's really a rock star. So, so how about you? What is it? What it is? Hi, I'm Johanna, so I'm happy joining you here. I'm probably a little bit sleepy because I was driving a thousand kilometers today to come to here. Yesterday evening I was performing in Vienna, Austria. So, oh my gosh! So I'm here now, I'm happy. And um, uh, probably I cannot say anything smart because uh, I'm too sleepy, so sorry. <laughs> no, but but I, I was appreciating the uh, children's uh, orchestra and it was really a great performance and uh, I, I'm absolutely admiring them. They were doing a really great job and I'm happy uh, being here and uh, <laughs> joining uh, Creative Strings. Beautiful. Thank you so much. He was in Vienna last night. Now he's here in Lausanne. So um, I want to get this uh, going here in a second. Uh, probably set this back up so we can catch the next concert. If you're just jumping on here, we're going to have our second set of three coming up here in a few minutes. This next set is going to be very special. I saw the musicians, the artists rather, I saw them. Hey, it's it's Shy and Flora. Hi. <laughs> How did you like the concert, Shy? Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Are you proud of your dad? <laughs> yeah, he's the best, right? <laughs> so this is Beiju's family, Flora and Shai. They're here for the concert. As I was saying, our next uh, set, the second out of third set today, is going to feature um, two violinists and a dancer slash percussionist doing a original flamenco-inspired program that they've spent 18 months composing. Uh, and it's going to be really special. I've heard them rehearsing. It's, it's going to be something else. Um, so that's coming up in a few minutes, so I'll probably set this camera down in a few minutes and just kind of stay tuned. Uh, if you feel uh, inclined to, just uh, share a link to this live stream with some friends or something. And as a reminder, I'm going to be trying to live stream all of our concerts from the Creative Strings Workshop and Festival. Uh, I'm going to be uh, trying to broadcast all of the concerts in the festival. During the day, we do, uh, what is it, 10 to 6, we have classes all day long. But after that, in the night, we have these concerts. And so I'm going to be trying to stream all of this. And uh, uh, so that's going to be happening tomorrow, uh, what, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm, I might do it here at the YouTube channel, or I might do it on Facebook or Instagram. But uh, if you want to make sure you get announcements for me, go to christianhouse.com, sign up for the mailing list. You can also do that at creativestrings.org. If you'd like to find about uh, workshops that are coming up that you can attend, whether online or in person, there's the man, Beiju. Yes, man, that was well done. This is the guy responsible for all the incredible direction of the many, many strings. Everybody give him some love, Beiju Bach. Uh, I know you're busy, man. Your head's full. Anything you want to say? Yeah, well, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, come come next when you're here, it's something else. So, yeah, welcome. Yeah. Welcome again. Yeah. And the other concert is about to start, about by start. the way. Okay, yeah. I'm setting it up then. All right, so we're going to set up this camera. And if you guys just stay tuned in a few minutes, this, this incredible next set is about to begin. Hi, is this is this your phone? Yeah, sure. I take care. Is this yours? No. Okay.
excusez-moi, j'ai scraté votre chargeur de téléphone. C'est à moi. Sorry, I speak English. I don't ah, understand. I just uh, took yeah. your... Yeah, that's your, okay. I'm sorry. No, no, you're good. You're good. Is it? Is it? <laughs> no! Hey, what's up? <laughs> Good to see you. How you doing? Fine. And you? Good. <laughs> yeah, welcome back. Well, welcome Thank back you. to Switzerland. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
Te mando yo
jouer une Taranta qui a un style très 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 différent encore de tout ça. C'est un style qui vient parce que euh, souvent le, euh, les styles sont aussi attribués à des métiers. Voilà, c'est des, des métiers qui travaillaient, qui chantaient des styles spécifiques. Là, la Taranta, c'est un chant que chantaient les mineurs voilà, dans la région d'Almeria. Euh, c'est un style qui est libre. Et, et moi, j'en ai fait une adaptation. Euh, J'ai essayé à travers cette euh, falsetta pour Taranta de, de faire apparaître. De, de le suggérer, voilà. Euh, donc, Taranto, et après, ce sera un sapateado, donc un sapateado qui vient évidemment de la danse, qui est la, la base quand même de, de ce style. Et nous enchaînerons avec une farjuga, qui est un style qui est importé de Galice, qui a des sonorités carrément celtiques. Voilà.
partir de minutes. <rire> On va vous jouer toute une euh, fin de sion, maintenant. <rire> Thank you. 
was on the last song of the second set and we are going to get going so that we can um, set up of the second set. so that we can set up for the third set which is going to be amazing as well so you're going to get three amazing sets <laughs> and uh, that was kind of that was a little bit uh, stressful <laughs> with the basically what happened was the uh, the battery my battery in the iPhone died. And uh, it's not worth going into all the <laughs> things, but it's like I'm trying to get adapters going for the, you know, to plug it into the wall and all these other kinds of things. So that's basically what happened. And uh, I'm gonna get this going. So we're gonna have a pause for probably about, maybe t at least 10, 15 minutes. And then we're, if you guys need to get something, you can. So we're gonna do, have a pause for like 10 or 15 minutes. And then we're going to hopefully have this set up for the next set, which is going to be miraculous. So just hang around for about 15 minutes and we'll get it going for you.
Okay, so I'm heading back to the other hall. And we're gonna try to see if we can get this going and keep this uh, going. I've got, a, I've got a new strategy to make sure that the iPhone doesn't lose its battery. I'm gonna go back in this other hall and the Wi-Fi is a little bit... <laughs> yes, I'm aware we're still live, we're still broadcasting. This is the, the live festival and uh, this is the break between the sets. We're going back to the other hall. Going back to this other hall and we're gonna see if we can keep this going. Okay, this, it looks like this is gonna happen. We're gonna make this happen. The, the live stream will succeed. Found and determined. Been working on this for like a 24 hours. I have so much respect for you guys right now. These guys, they have to do a lot of work. You don't realize how much work goes into making the lights actually go on. <laughs> So if I had to guess, I would say we're looking at about 10 minutes until the start of the third set here.
Excusez-moi, hop, voilà. Okay. <rire> oui, si l'américain est pas pro, vous devez le faire. Oui, merci Claudine. <rire> Heureusement qu'elle est là pour sauver la face. Merci toi, toi. Pas de toi-toi, je ne crois pas. Hein. On va la tête dans un aquarium. Non, pas dans un ancien aquarium. Oh non mais tu rigoles hein
pas l'heure. Non, là, je ne savais pas trop comment ça allait se terminer, donc j'ai sorti mon téléphone, j'ai regardé sur Google Maps. S'il n'y avait pas un hôtel près de la gare de Boulogne, parce que je n'allais pas dormir dans la gare. Mais sur ces entrefaites, le train repart. Alors là, super content, je me dis, je vais réussir à rentrer chez moi, c'est génial. Donc, le train repart. Mais il s'arrête à Basel, Deutsche Bahn, et non pas Basel CLF. Donc là, je prends une navette. Une navette qui prend quand même vachement plus de temps pour arriver à la gare de Basel dans le CLF. Là, il me reste 3 minutes pour attraper mon train. C'est peu pour traverser la gare de Basel. Donc, je cours, je me dis, je peux y arriver. Je suis dans les starting blocks, la porte de la navette s'ouvre. Moi, je fonce comme ça, avec tous mes bagages, mon sac de sport, mon sac à dos, mon sac de tabouret en bois. Et là, j'arrive à l'escalator, je me dis, j'y suis presque, mais l'escalator, il est en panne. Donc, c'est pas grave, je continue, j'y vais, je monte ces marques d'escalator qui sont immenses. Et là, paf, je trébuche, je me fais des griffures sur tout le tibia droit. Je sais pas si tu vois les marches d'escalator. Hein. Petit bout en métal, là. Terrible. Donc c'est pas grave, je, je continue ma route, je bouscule un peu les gens de passage, je saute dans mon train et les portes se ferment derrière moi. Super, donc j'ai eu mon train, je l'ai attrapé. On Au vol, non, non, là j'arrive à Holton. Holton, 8 minutes devant moi. 8 minutes, c'est énorme. Donc là, grand lutte, j'ai même pas besoin de courir, en plus c'est le pied d'en face. Pas d'escalator. Voilà, même pas besoin d'en parler. Ouais, exactement. Lausanne. Non, Berne. À Berne, je me dis, peu de temps de correspondance, il me reste 3 minutes. 3 minutes, c'est peu aussi. Donc, je me dis, j'espère que l'escalator fonctionne. J'arrive sur le quai avec tous mes bagages. Et là, devant mes yeux, et Bobby, un ascenseur. Oui, un ascenseur pour la gare de Berne. La gare de Berne est super. Donc, j'ai pris mon ascenseur, petite passerelle, ascenseur pour redescendre de l'autre côté. Mon train, nickel. Voilà, donc je suis arrivée à Lausanne, il avait carrément. Tranquille, comme ça, bon, il était 2h du matin. C'est pour ça, j'en reviens au début de l'histoire, parce que bon, il y a eu quelques petites digressions en cours de route, mais c'est pour ça que ce matin, dans la gare de Lausanne, bah, j'avais vraiment besoin d'un café. Voilà. Donc, ce que j'ai fait, écoute bien, j'ai pris tous mes bagages et mon tabouret en bois, je suis allée poser mon tabouret en bois au bout d'un quai, à l'écart. Je l'ai laissé là. Je reviens de chercher de l'eau. Comme ça, j'ai de nouveau retrouvé une main libre pour un café à l'emporter. Ce qui fait que maintenant, je suis en pleine forme et bien réveillée. d'imaginer un projet autour de, de ce qu'on aime faire, le violoncelle en mouvement, la voix, euh, la musique électronique, la batterie un peu. Donc euh, merci infiniment, Baichu, qui est pour être qui est pas par là, euh, nous avoir donné cette opportunité et cette liberté, c'est très rare. Merci. Merci euh, aussi à toute l'équipe du 221 qui prend si bien soin de nous. Merci beaucoup. Euh, Bon, euh, on continue.
continue euh, ce, qu'est-ce qu'il faut dire, ce concert hybride et, or, et augmenté, quelque chose comme ça, euh, avec un morceau que j'ai écrit il y a quelques années déjà pour, euh, pour mon projet Inou, euh, qui est un morceau qui s'appelle Rain Dance et euh, qui est une espèce de d'hommage et de lettre d'amour euh, à mes lointains ancêtres. Voilà, bonne continuation, Rain Dance. Un fleuve, un lac, 
une mer aquatique barrière.
l'histoire d'un tabouret en bois qui en a vu passer des années. De postérieur élimé en auguste derrière, il a roulé sa bosse. De scène en scène, de gare en gare, il en a percé des mystères. Car je ne vous ai pas encore dit que ce tabouret bascule. Oui, il bascule. mais ignorant toute dimension psychologique, empathique, télépathique. Il se contente de se balancer d'avant en arrière sans un mot, sans un son, juste une rotation hypnotique, cathartique, mélancolique. Juste une douceur onirique sur velours,
And there you have it, folks. Day one, Creative Strings Festival in Lausanne. We'll be coming back to you for the next three days. So tune in for lots more awesome stuff.